Hey guys, this is DJ Salty doing a video for Salty's Effects. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make something like this. This is materials on a solid object, but animating it on Cinema 40. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Okay. Okay. So go to Cinema 40, new. So you can use whatever shape you want, but I'm going to start off with a sphere. Take that up. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, so once you've got your sphere, add a material. Just put the material on so you get that. Double click on the material, go to color, make it whatever color you want. It's your choice. You can change it later on to whatever, but for now, just put a uh, no, standard color. After that, go to Alpha, check Alpha, then go to Tile, go to Texture, Surfaces, and check Tiles. Okay, so, okay, so, when you're in Alpha, if you untick Soft, it becomes a solid shape. So if you tick Invert, it goes away. So leave both of them untick for now. Now go to the tiles. The there there's four colors here. Okay. The first three colors matter. The tiles color three doesn't matter, so you make that white. Second one you can also make white because that affects your. So this you can make what color you are going to plan to use. So that's what it is. You can make that white too. Yeah. So. Go back to alpha and tick invert. So now it should become like this. You can have it either way, it doesn't matter, so I'm gonna keep it like this. But go to tiles and just see this pattern. Click on pattern. There's a whole bunch of patterns for you to choose from. Your choice what really matters. Uh Mm. I mean, there's a whole lot of them. Okay, I'm going to pick this random radial lines is really nice, but I did that in the video, so I'm just going to use brick. Looks nice. I'm going to use brick. You can use whatever you want. Okay, once you've done that, make you, make sure your keyframe is on zero. And you're happy with your colors and that. Hold here at global scale, make it zero. And this is how you animate it basically. Hold control and click the dot. So you add the keyframe here. Then next, drag your keyframe to say around 50. Make this 100. And add another keyframe. So what you've basically got is this. Now, if I hold it here and animate for you and render it, you'll see these smooth kind. Of, it's not smooth; it's bumpy. So, what my render settings are: one, one thousand two hundred eighty by seven twenty, and all frame, all frames. Save, save whatever you want. Um, quick time, but for fast render settings, go to make this 29.97 and change this to millions of colors. It's really fast. And go to anti aliasing. This now this is for the bumpiness. Make it your geometry, ge geometry, yeah. Animation filter, your animation filter. And make geomet geometry best, and that's it. So just make the radius six, two, six, and you should be good. See now when you when I render it, small, small. Okay. Now that we've got that done. Just, just 
So now as you watch, I'll press the A. And you get your whole shape. And you can do this with pretty much any shape. So, now, so you just render it basically. I would say, add the floor. And make a material for the floor. Go to reflection. Just make, just give a little reflection to your, say, 50. Give a little reflection to the floor so when you're, when it's animated, when you're looking at it, it looks nice. I suppose we're looking at it from the top. You can see the reflection. See? Okay, so you can add a light, anything. And then start your render. Thanks for watching, guys.